everyone welcome to or welcome back to my channel so today I wanted to start doing something a little bit different which is flash reviews of brands today that brand is Pat McGrath which I'm so excited about um, so Pat McGrath is notoriously known for being expensive I love it like I definitely think most of the products are worth the hype so let's start off with the first palette i ever bought the mother should be so here it is well loved very fingerprinty um i could have wiped it off before the video but i just didn't feel like it this is the inside i've had this palette for about two years now three <laughs> i don't know it is so freaking ugh, just delicious so the thing that i will say about pat mcgrath palettes. I mean, one, I love the color story in here. It makes sense, but it's also really fun. You have these like beautiful duochromes. Like, let me just swatch some. Like, we'll do this top one. It's like pink and green with like a shift. Hopefully it's going to pop up on there. I'll do one more layer just so you can see it better. So you can see kind of like that pink, brown, and green shift. And then this one here is kind of similar except this one it feels a little more gritty but that's because it's kind of more of like a glitter and that one also it's like a gold green i don't know i'll swatch this gorgeous red i bought this when i had red hair so i used so much of this palette like look how beautiful that is that shift for me i would say with the palettes the mattes are good but they're not the most incredible mattes I've ever tried. Like personally, if I am buying a high-end palette specifically for the matte shades, I'm going to go with Viseart or I am going to go with Natasha Denona. So you're probably like, Brooklyn, why would I pay $125 for a palette? Why would I pay that much if the mattes aren't incredible? And that's because the shimmers are just completely out of this world. They're like so dimensional. I would almost say they're like four dimensional. Like just look at those. Like I'll even show it down here. Maybe you'll see more of it. There's just nothing like it. I need Pat McGrath to like make a palette of just their shimmers just to kind of have it in like a vault. So it's not that the mattes are like bad quality or anything like that. Like the mattes are still very good. It's just not like as top tier as the shimmers are, if that makes sense. I think the color story is so beautiful. I think if you are looking at a Pat McGrath palette, this is one that you should definitely consider. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to talk about is the Pat McGrath, everything's Pat McGrath, so I don't know why I just like keep announcing it. The Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. So what I love about this one is it is so thin on the face, but it still has a good amount of coverage and it's buildable. I'm just gonna gently squeeze that. It's just so thin. Like it's like a, I'm definitely water-based of some sort, which I love because I think water-based foundations and just really thin foundations are how you get the most skin-like look. Like I've never met a thick foundation that I can get that look with. And it's also, a guarantee that you're not going to get like cakey makeup like I feel like thin foundations are just the way to go now my only issue with it is that I have super sensitive skin and I break out to a lot of stuff and I think that my skin just may be a little too sensitive for this but I still keep it in my collection because I'm going to wear it for like special occasions and things like that um, it's just not one that I personally can wear every day, but it may be an amazing foundation for you, especially if you're not as sensitive. And it may not have actually broken me out. I need to try it again, but I do love the formula and I do think it's an incredible foundation. Like just look how beautiful, healthy and glowy. The finish, I forgot to talk about that. So the finish is like, it's definitely like a healthy natural finish, but I would say it's a satin, which I feel like a satin finish is really hard to find because everything is either super glowy, which if you're oily, like me, like I'm like combination, it just doesn't work out well, or they're like so matte that it looks just like dry, just so dry, you know? And this is like such a good in between. Like you can see even as it's dried, just compared to my normal hand, 
just so beautiful but i love this foundation definitely gonna hold on to it next one is the pat mcgrath labs concealer now this one unfortunately i grabbed in too dark of a shade i'm someone that doesn't love a super light concealer so i grabbed the same shade as the foundation which was light medium eight so if you're like me definitely order a shade down but i still like this because since it's really like peachy looking it's perfect as a corrector so i usually will layer this or if i'm super tan i can just wear this on its own but i like to layer this so i'll put this down first as like a corrector and then a lighter concealer on top and i do really like the formula it's really hydrating it covers well but it's again not like a super thick consistency but it's also not watery because i don't like a watery concealer i like it to have like a like a medium consistency that's like kind of creamy but not thick and that's exactly what this one is so i do like it but i wish i had gotten a different shade i can say i will be buying a different shade in the future probably um, but I do have other concealers that I'm trying, if that makes sense. The next two products are probably some of my favorite Pat McGrath products. So I may say, no, we're just going to go in with this one. So this one has been so well loved and I had no idea how much I would love this blush, but it's the Pat McGrath Cherish blush. As you can see, well loved. There was a lot of fingerprints on there. So what you do to open it, because sometimes I have a hard time, press the bottom and then you open it up, but you need to press it all the way in. This is the shade and it is so beautiful. Like it is such a gorgeous pink. It's not too cool, but it's also not too warm either. Like it has a healthy balance, I feel like, of both tones. And I'm wearing it today and it's just the most beautiful brightening blush and it lasts you all day long like you know how like most blushes disappear you have to reapply not with this one it is so good and it makes me want to get more colors but like to be honest this is just the perfect shade of blush for me and if you're curious what it looks like next to other pinks i'll show you really quick so this is the famous rosy glow i have it in a tester packaging because i worked for dior many years ago and this is it next to the Pat McGrath Labs. So you can see this one almost looks purple next to it. So you can tell this isn't a totally cool toned blush. It's just like, it's magic, I swear. I swear it's magic, I love it. And then another popular blush, so you can see it next to it, is the Kylie Winter Kissed blush. So you can see it's very different from a lot of popular blush shades. Blush shades i feel like i didn't say that right it's very different and i don't have anything in my collection like this blush and not to mention that embossing on it like as you can see it's been well left you can tell that i love this but like the flowers and stuff on it, it's so beautiful you can barely see it now because i've used so much of it but I absolutely love, love, love this blush. Last Pat McGrath product we have is the Mothership 6 palette. And I love this one because it's actually an incredible neutral palette when you take out the purple. Like you see that? That looks like an easy everyday palette, you know? But I feel like the purple in it makes it like a special palette, you know? Like it keeps it from being just like a boring, neutral palette but i absolutely love this i am currently wearing this brown shade uh in my crease a little bit of the red in the outer corner the dark one on my lash line this icy shade kind of on the bottom inner corner here i'm wearing the gold on my lid the copper kind of on the outer lid just to kind of blend into that red and then this fun beautiful like creamy champagne-y gold shade or i guess not gold i don't know what to call it but creamy champagne shade kind of topped on top as like a glitter and i just love this one like this is a palette that like makes you just feel so special and bougie that you can use every single day and just to compare it to this one in case you're in between because i know these are like some of the more neutral ones and some of the most popular here it is next to each other this one kind of has more of like a cool toned 
vibe like it's kind of like a cool toned rosy vibe they have like a true mauvey palette if you're into mobs just mobs don't really look good on me but i like this one because it's a little bit warmer on me at least like especially with that red in there it's kind of nice for like warming up a chocolatey brown if you were to get either one of these i mean it's hard to say you just kind of have to follow your heart <laughs> you know like if you go towards golds and coppers i would get this one if you go more towards rose golds and like bronzes i would go with this one i think so i love that i have both of them i'm glad i don't have to pick between two but um adore these so so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this short little review let me know if you would like to see more of these in the future i hope you all enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next one bye